Tomorrow I'll be uh, flying out to Wyoming to enter the cloistered Carmelite Monastery for men in Wyoming. Um, I guess it's the, uh, the Carmel of the Immaculate Heart of Mary there. Uh, it's a community of cloistered Carmelite men uh, in the kind of the discalced tradition. And there's uh, about 15 or 20 there. And they, you know, they live their whole life there in monastic enclosure. They pray the full office. They pray the, you know, the traditional mass. And they just sort of devote themselves to prayer for uh, the entire church and the whole world. Well, the first year and kind of the first, you know, even six years is really a period of discernment to sort of, you know, try the Carmelite way of life and, you know, test my vocation there. And I guess that's, that's a big part of it to see, you know, whether I'm able to live this life and whether God's calling me to live this life. And, you know, right now I, I think that I am called to it. And so, you know, I'm hoping to, as much as I can, just kind of dive into their, you know, their entire life, the poverty, chastity, obedience that they live and just, you know, kind of give myself as much as I can to this vocation. And, you know, God willing, I'll be there for the rest of my life. And so I just want to, you know, sort of hit the ground running there and give myself to sort of to them, to Our Lady and to God as much as I can. I think he's very happy being in the monastery. I, I, I really have never seen him so joyful about anything. I mean, I, he just, it feels right. It does feel right. Um, I, you know, I think when you're called to something like that, you know, I think you have an, a sense that this is where you're supposed to be. And he just, he seems very happy in this decision. I guess I'm not really concerned about anything per se. Um, you know, it's more, you know, concerned, you know, how my family will take it because this is much harder for them than it is for me because this is something that I very much want to do. And for them, you know, since they're not called to this sort of thing, I think it's harder for them to, you know, to embrace. And so I think I'm more concerned on their behalf than I am for mine. You know, it's funny, at the, the end of the retreat in June, uh, Father told the, the four of us that uh, would be applying uh, that the only thing he wanted us to do to prepare was just to love our families because, you know, connection to the family, obviously it's hard because I'll be cloistered and so my family just can't come visit me whenever they feel like. But they really put a lot of emphasis on, you know, being close to your family because, you know, that's who God gave you to, to raise you and to be with you. And so, you know, as much as I can, I've tried to, you know, to give myself to them, to, you know, make little sacrifices that they probably won't notice but just to, you know, to love them and make a good connection with them now while I'm still living with them because, you know, potentially for the rest of my life that's something I won't be able to do.